I'm gonna apologize if you hear some background noise, if you hear someone playing Bob the Builder and you hear people rage rage gaming, I do apologize. 2024, it had the leopard print rage to the brat girl summer moment. So now what's going to be the biggest trend next? If you're just like me on the precipice of being influenced to being de-influenced, I'm here to let you know and do some fashion forecasting while sprinkling in some of my fashion faves. In today's video, I'll do a mix of trend highlighting to what items you should purchase when it comes to elevating your winter arc wardrobe. So just a disclaimer, this is all based on my personal research with a mix of my personal fashion taste. So take this video with a grain of salt. Nevertheless, let's begin. If you've ever struggled coming to terms with your personal identity, albeit through personal taste in fashion or even knowing what to exactly follow, I feel it. I've seen it and I resonate because I've been there. I've been there. Especially when it comes to finding out what influencer you truly resonate with because nowadays everyone is trying to sell you something. Hi everyone, my name is Honey. I'm an aspiring social media literacy advocator where investing into what matters truly resonates with me. Picture this, you're scrolling through TikTok shop or even Shein and you're bombarded by so much, and I mean it, so much items ranging from, you know, handbags to waist beads to chunky sneakers to earrings. You have everything and anything at your disposal. It's like an information dump on the first day of your job or at syllabus week on your first day of class. But luckily today we're going to be doing some social media de-influencing by yours truly. I follow these three crucial steps when it comes to online shopping, especially when it comes to forecasting what I should wear in the future. The first one is, is this parable? When I say is this parable, meaning can this serve them more than one purpose? Is this multifunctional? Is there any other different pairings that I could pair this with? The list goes on. The second one is, what is the blend of this material? Is it polyester? Is it wool? Is it on the heavy duty side? Can this fabric really withstand the tides of time? I bring this up because not all, but plenty of fast fashion or even retail stores having polyester blend in their clothing. For me, when it comes to fashion, even when it comes to trends, micro trends, or X, Y, and Z, sustainability should always be a priority because, well, yes, you will have the same or probably different variation of the same tank top. You will never have another variation of Earth. You only have one Earth. Only one pound earth. With that being said though, polyester is a cheaper material. It's often made with plastic because quite literally you're wearing straight up plastic. Polyester is an oil-based material that takes a bit, dare I say a little bit while for it to break down. Twins. But with that being said, if you're mass purchasing a lot of clothes from the store, be very mindful of what you are purchasing. With the implementation of micro trends, some clothes might not even last for a while, which leads to my last question, number three. Am I buying this because I want it? When it comes to being influenced, number one, I'm usually being influenced to purchase it. Whether it's through on TikTok feed, influencers, influencers promoting their products saying, click the link in my bio. Either saying that or, hey y'all, uh, welcome to a discount code. If it's not that, there's always a mass discount. For example, at Forever they were having a 50% off their end of the summer sale or even the Amazon Prime savings sale too. They usually have that between I think October or September, sometime around that. They have that promoted to the house down boots. Now number two in this category is I usually want to buy it. It's usually because of me because I want it. For example, this comes from personal influence like for example, like I need it. There's no one telling me I should do so. I feel motivated to get it because I want it. Not because something's telling me or not because something else is happening. With that being said, I also got off the phone with my sib right now and I told them I need to buy this microphone because people are playing Bob the Builder in the background. And, and I had lost my microphone. This is irresponsibility on my part because that's who I am. I'm kind of irresponsible in that part in regards. But I realized I actually need it. Am I being influenced? In a way, right now, I don't think I'm being influenced because I think it's coming from that I want it, that I actually do need it to elevate myself in the future without any interruption. Now we got those questions out of the way. Let's do some fashion forecasting, y'all. If you know me, I love rambling on and going on a podcast because I found that getting right into it, into the deep thick of it, always reveals the true meaning and message out of that conversation, y'all. Now that we have this in mind, let's go over some notable fashion trends over the year. Some trends that stood out to me was the leopard print aesthetic, the brat girl summer aesthetic, and soju girl aesthetic too. I know, spoiler, intro, my bad gang. Honestly, these three tropes have been popular over the year because they radiate the same message. It gives 
it girl energy, main character energy, lucky girl syndrome, any SEO type of B trying to get this video boosted up type of view thing. The reason why is because the leopard print or the cheetah print, any animal print basically gives you such a bold and formidable presence, makes you feel like a value, like a CEO in office. It is a bold pairing. While the soju girl taken from quite literally romance mangas from Japanese media, it allows you to have romantic romanticism and a cute subtle romanticism in your outfits y'all it gives the very soft girl aesthetic spin while the brat girl summer aesthetic was very like bold batty do not give a fuck trying to serve cunts there's a difference between the leopard print and the brat girl the brat girl is giving cunt giving serve giving model while giving like Bitch don't fuck with me, but also we fuck with the girlies. That's what it really is. However, do I think that these fashion tropes or subcategories will go into the winter arc? Honestly, yes. While fashion is always on the move, you should never, and not to play devil's advocate y'all, but you should never base anyone's opinion off what your fashion is how you want to define yourself. It's how you want to see yourself. What do I have to say, bitch? Look, look at me. I'm fashionable in my own way. It don't matter that you're not fashionable. But with that being said, if I had to be honest, I don't think for me personally, I would ever wear the leopard or cheetah print because I struggle at pairing that. But some of my friends and some of the girlies, like they know how to rock it so well and they eat it up so well. They know how to pair it. For me, I don't know how to do that. Moving on, here's some of my personal things that I hope will become more popular during the winter. The shoujo girl aesthetic. I remember there was this TikTok creator talking about how there's a fall slash winter edition of it. So it's the Himikaji aesthetic. It mixes the Gyaru aesthetic with, you know, summer shoujo girl knit and everything layering. It is such a good pairing and I think Honestly, if you are one of those romance girly, this would be such a good pairing and this would be a good fashion trope for y'all. Like, honestly, if I don't see you rocking this, like, girl, what are you doing? I think also Gen Z has this mix of- I will say this because there- you can tell if I were to phrase it, it's like comparing Western makeup with Eastern makeup. And with Western makeup, whether it's the technique or the inspo it's grabbing it from. And I feel like that's when it comes to fashion because I've noticed the subtle details will pop out. Really, it's the subtle casualties from emerging Chinese trend called Yabi fashion where it combines multiple fashion aesthetics all together into one. And I think that is such a beautiful thing because Yabi style mixes so many things, but in a way it has a similar identity that is cohesive with the entire aesthetic. The classy girl goes to symphonies, go to classicals, go to orchestra type of aesthetic. Trench coat, ways on your style, like living in the past to living in the future. When I say living in the future, people are either dressing up how they would imagine themselves either 20 years from now, 10 years from now, five years from now. Think of Nara Smithcore. Nara Smithcore, when she looks put together, she's cooking, she's giving very, very bad bitch CEO energy. Now you have people who are living in the present and I say people who are layering for, this, for the winter, like you establishing that TikTok uniform, establishing that Yabi style. I think it's just a mix of people going, coming together and creating a style that, that establishes people who wanna live, who wanna live their childhood dreams. And then you have people who wanna live who they want to aspire to be. And I think that is such a beautiful thing because everyone has different variations of how they wanna style themselves. And honestly, we can say clean girl aesthetic, brat girl aesthetic, leopard print, X, Y, and Z, but I think the true meaning of it is that, you know, ranging from, you know, those beautiful, beautiful Victorian shirts. I don't know what they're called. Or like even the doll, the dollar, not dollar, the doll scala Peter Pan collars. I'll just pull up inspos <laughs> because that's what I'm good at. I'm good at researching, but talking, I'm not good at that. It's like giving that one TikTok sound like, like, oh, I hate working at the bank. Shh, I... At work at the bank. And then another thing, I guess for guys too, is establishing that TikTok uniform. It's usually this type of combo. Either short shirt or short, small short shirt. Short, small shirt with long pants, baggy pants, X, Y, and Z. But the shirt is always either cropped, not above the waist. Either a Carhartt pants or wide length pants. I don't know what variation from what brand, but honestly, it is the same type of outfit. And then they either pair with a leather jacket and then probably like a, either one of those Uniqlo Moon hobo bags, either that or a sea bag, croissant moon bag. They have that similar silhouette. And it's like, I love it because they're stepping up on their fashion. But let's add a little more sprinkle. Let's add a little heel into it. Like I see y'all experimenting with the tabby boots, with the boots, 
with the loafers, with the pointed toes. People should dress how they want to dress. Honestly, I could tell you X, Y, and Z, but at the end of the day, I, I'm not a fortune teller. I can't see into the future, but honestly, what I want you to do is dress how you want because that's your style. That's who makes you you and that's who makes you unique. So take everything with a grain of salt, take a video like, okay, that's giving. I'm gonna take that, that's my style. And for me, I'm always elevating, I'm always figuring out who I am as a person, whether it's in regards to what I wear, to who I am spiritually, internally, physically. I feel like fashion is such a thing that people will notice about you, whether it's appearance like you know you're, the way how you style your hair the way how you do your hair the way how you accessorize your hair people will always notice you you know people are always going to notice you whether you present yourself in a way that you probably think that it might be different but style yourself be a baddie be a hottie and with that being said with this closing message dress how you want to dress because no one can tell you how to dress because honestly Money can't buy you taste. I'll be straight up with that. Money can't buy you taste, but it can buy you the clothes that people are wearing. Yeah, honestly, let me know if you enjoyed this video because I know we kind of, I kind of just rambled about me hating on fast fashion and everything, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, until then, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all, be safe. Mm -hmm.